Otaro is a charming port city just a short train ride away from Sapporo. Its downtown area is a great place to do a walking tour. So today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite spots to visit during a day trip to Otaru. Otaru Canal is the most iconic landmark in the city. It's the quintessential spot for taking a tourist snapshot but it's also a great place for a stroll. Another great location is the Otaro Music Box Museum. This historic building houses a stunning collection of music boxes in all different shapes and sizes, playing different kinds of soothing melodies. Upstairs, you can learn about how Otaru became famous for its music boxes. The Sakaimichi Shopping Street is a lovely merchant street with a mix of traditional and modern Japanese and Western buildings. It is a place not to be missed, especially if you are looking to buy Otaru's many famous sweets. <laughs> Don't forget to drop by Letao and Rokate, as well as grab a bowl of Kaisen Don for lunch. You will also find the famous 7th flavor rainbow soft serve here at Sakaimichi at a place called Venetian Cafeteria. It's actually as delicious as it looks. Otaru has a lot of museums, but I want to highlight the Otaru City General Museum in particular. It's an old warehouse converted to a museum, and it's not overwhelming in size. Aside from the typical exhibits, they have a lot of interactive displays. There's even a little outdoor play area where you can let your inner child out. <laughs> Finally, you can stop by the old Temiya Railway site for some truly pretty pictures. If you're lucky, you might even catch some form of art exhibition, just like we did. These five places are just a handful of must-visits during a short day trip to Otaru. As always, I encourage you to explore and share your experiences in the comment section below. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. See you next time!